такой. Solidus couldn't make it. Solidus? I thought he survived the fall. He did, but he's in corrective eye surgery right now. Whatever for? He wants to go blind on the other eye. Even more like Dad. Oh God, he's even more of an idiot than I thought he was. Hey, no name calling at the table. Need I remind you the names you called me when I supposedly fought and killed you twice? Well, that's all fast. I knew you were alive, Pop. You always make it out of the toughest situation. Thanks, son. Oh, come on, Lickford. You wanted him in Shadow Moses for anything but family reasons. How would you know? You were too busy flirting with I'm trained to be desensitized with men Merle. Hey, she came out to me. Meryl? You haven't told me about Meryl, son. She was this tomboy I met in Shadow Moses. She was kind of cute. What did you say then? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. You're a strong woman. Someone like you. Let Meryl go! Look, I was in the middle of nowhere. I was alone. She was willing. Yeah, I know the feeling. You do? Well, there was this girl named Eva. She turned out to be double crossing me, of course. This is Metal Gear. Everyone has a double agenda. She was just using me. Bible talk. <laughs> Still makes tingles after all these years. Bible talk? Adam, Eve, Snake, forbidden knowledge. Enough to make your head swirl. It was a nice break from paramedics ramblings and all these nuclear themed movies. She just kept going on and on and on. Now I understand your decision to create Outer Haven, Dad. Long, inconsequential, melodramatic monologues. Torturous, isn't it, Dad? That's a low blow, Snake. I was educating you about your past. Should be disclaiming Metal Gear every two seconds. Put a shirt on and shove it. Hey, enough bickering. Save it for the bosses. You're right. That's some pretty memorable moments with Fox out. Sniper Wolf was intense. Intensely hot, maybe. But certainly not a challenge. Like myself. Son, you don't know what sniping is until you spend two hours in the jungle looking for an old man's hairy ass. What? Okay, that didn't come out the way I expected it would. So, Liquid. How did you completely possess Ocelot? Through an arm? Whatever did Dad do to look 40 years younger? Some questions have no answers. Well, now that I'm getting older, I have this inexplicable urge to let my hair go even longer. Buy a bitch a pair of shades. Age. Tell me about it. I think I'm starting to have this whooping cough and I might have even seen a gray hair today in the mirror. Excuse me. Damn Codex. I'm in the middle of choking someone and the colonel calls me up to remind me that pressing the goddamn action button will allow me to climb down. Complain all you want. He's having phone services calling and requesting to change company. But still. Do you know what it feels like to talk to someone through the codec when they're standing there right in front of you? And they also ring at the most inopportune times. Stimulating the small bones in your ear, my ass. They shatter them. Who was it? Phone service. They wanted me to switch company. Well, the ones with the best communication back in the day were the enemy soldiers. They even seemed to have telepathic powers when they spotted me. Damn sparkle in their eyes and the shaggle hot hits the fan. And they're deaf when it's convenient as well. You slam in a wall 30 minutes, nothing happens. But God forbid you step 3 meters behind them and the entire army is breathing down your neck. Don't get me started on the cost. One alert, millions of soldiers take 3 turns to shoot the shit out of you. What do you do? You stand there, helplessly, seeing all those bullets pierce your body. 
And then when it's finally your turn, you bleed, mission failed. Snake, whatever happened to that god-awful writing person? Oh, him. Well, he decided he's really going to practice with that sword of his and the cyborg ninja outfit. I'm showing him 15 pay. Doesn't sound like the right in Lango. And he's also looking into high heels and black lipstick. No, that's the right in Lango. Looking back to that Memorial Day, man, that was wacky. I still don't even know what was going on. Oh, you sure look like you did from the likes of that monotonous spiel you gave at the end. Oh, that. I got it out of Dr. Phil. Well, at least my wacky mission didn't end with philosophizing. It ended with sex. And a funeral. And a government betrayal. And a romantic backstabbing. Alright! I get the point. I guess none of us have experienced the happy ending. Perhaps this is the closest thing to happy endings. Get that cough looked at.